Uh, hey! Do you mind? I am trying to get some sleep. What is the matter with you? It's only 8 o'clock. I've had a tough day. Well, I'm having a tough night. Look, if you want to go to sleep, be my guest. But I'm going down to the bar for a drink. Not a chance. You're not going anywhere without me, and you know it. You know, why am I being punished? It is not my fault if I overheard something I wasn't supposed to. Oh, the same. You did. And until the political is out of the hospital and the country, you are my responsibility. Okay. Then come down to the bar with me. Ugh. I'll buy you a drink. Look, you're not sleeping. You're laying here thinking about your wife. Maybe some music yeah. and a drink will be good for us. It couldn't get any worse. Tell me something. When was the last time you didn't get your way? I'm here, aren't I? One beer, half an hour. Deal? I got an idea. Shoot. That's the idea. Come again? If this thing with your wife and that other guy is hurting you so much, you know, and you know you're never going to get over it, and all you're having is sleepless nights and depressing days, why don't you just shoot yourself? Put yourself out of your misery. Like they do horses. I thought your specialty was talking guys off ledges. Some guys are better off pancakes on the sidewalk. <laughs> Gee, I feel better already. Okay, then plan B. Walk away from it. Leave Santa Barbara and start over new somewhere else. You know, pain does not last forever. And once it's gone, you won't even remember why it was that you felt it in the first place. <laughs> What's the longest a relationship has ever lasted for you? <sighs> Too long. A few days, maybe a week. But you see, I don't let myself get to the point where you are right now. I cut out first. You know, love is like the high you get from a couple of beers. It's great in the beginning, but then the hangover kicks in. And me, I'm on the wagon. Must be lonely up there. At least I don't have a broken heart to keep me company. Well, I'd take that over what you got any day. Oh, yeah? Are we talking the perfect love inspector? The one that lasts forever? Hearts and roses and all that sort of crock? What would you know about it? Like you say, you always cut out before you give it a chance. It scares you. I didn't say it. You didn't scared. have to say it. Eden and I had something that I am never going to find again. No matter what happens now, I'm not going to be the man I was before I met her. Now, if I really believed it was over, I'd be out of my mind right now, but I don't, I don't believe that. And I never will. Here. Don't take it out on the beer. So sometimes I push too hard. Forget it. You know, sometimes the best move is not even to think. You know, obviously not to talk, but not even to think. First, your bubble inspector, but it's only 8.30. And I'm just starting to wake up. Oh, that's too bad, because we're going back upstairs now. I don't have to go right now. You weren't serious about keeping us to that half hour, were you? What do you think? I think it's time you loosened up a bit. One more beer, please. 
And then we'll go back to the lockup. One more beer, that's it. I mean it. I'll get the drinks, and I'll be right back. Two more, please. Come right up. The lair. 20 minutes. Here you go. Thank you. There you go. Thanks. No problem. Um, <clears throat> listen, can I go to the ladies' room alone? Or do you have to follow me in there also? Go, but don't try anything. And what could I possibly try? Hmm? Listen, why don't you put on another song while I'm gone? And that's on me, too. Ladies' room's down the hall on the right. I know. You got a lot of people concerned about your sudden disappearance. They're curious to know what happened to you. Nothing happened. I'm fine, okay? You can see that. No, I don't I don't see what you're doing here. And I don't hear, hear you telling me. It's none of your business. Oh. What do I say to them when I come back with nothing? Huh? She says, you know, it's none of your business. Just say I needed to get away yeah. for a little while, okay? Look, I'll be back very soon, and that there's nothing for anybody to worry about. Well, I think you should get back real soon. Okay? Because these people aren't going to wait. All right? You give me your word. Yes? Don't worry, I will. You know, if you don't, next time they're not going to send me to go looking for you. I know how this works. What the hell you think you're doing pulling a stunt like this? How did you know I split? You know, I was planning on being back before you missed me. And how'd you know where I went? The bartender back at the bar told me he heard you tell that guy you were talking to to meet you here. A rat. And while we're on the subject, who were you talking to? Just some guy. He offered to buy me a drink. Unbelievable. I'm going to say this once. You do something like that again, I'm going to throw you in jail. You understand me? Okay, you have my promise. I won't do it again. You're damn right you won't. And I don't need your promise, because I'm going to see to it. Now, come on. Where? We're going back to the room, and don't even start with me. I had enough lip out of you to last me a lifetime. Now, get up. Castillo. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, thanks. What did I do now? Nothing. Then what's the problem? That is the problem. <laughs> you mind speaking English? Who was that on the phone? That was the cop who was assigned to do a routine background check on you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Did I pass? Yeah. Right into oblivion. They couldn't come up with anything on you. No fingerprints, no social security number, no record of any kind. I guess you don't exist. <laughs> Imagine that. Does this kind of thing happen often? This kind of thing never happens. So what are you telling me? After all these years, I don't have any sort of background? Let's talk about what you've been telling me, shall we? Now, obviously, you have been lying to me from the start about who you are and what you're up to. Lucky for you, I'm a nice guy who's going to give you another chance. This time, 
You're going to tell me the truth. Listen, I don't know who your people are, but it's crazy that they can't find any background on me. There has to be some sort of mistake in your police computer. Some kind of glitch or something. I asked you for some questions and I expect answers. If you're in some kind of trouble, I may be able to help. But I'm not going to bother if you don't tell me the truth. You gonna find out soon enough anyway? I'm in this country illegally. From where? Mexico. And I don't have any papers. How long you been here? A few months now. I've been living in East L.A., but I had to get out of there in a hurry. So I came to Santa Barbara. I figured it was kind of an anonymous place to hide out in. What happened in L.A.? What is it you're running from? Crowds. Crowd? Is that supposed to be cute? Shall I spell this out for you? If you get caught, you'll be deported. I'm a cop and you are running from the law. Talk about your funny coincidences. Yeah, but how funny will it be when I turn you in? Are we gonna talk or walk? In Tijuana, I got into some trouble. With the law. When I told you that story about my mother having to go to prison, it was a lie. I was the one being sent up. So, when a guy I had been seeing came to me with this plan about how he could slip me across the border and I could make some money on the side, I figured I'd be a fool not to jump at it. They told us we'd be coming over to do farm work. They smuggled me and about ten other girls over in the back of a truck. When we got out of the truck, we weren't on any farm. We were herded into this dressing room of this dive in East L.A. called La Florecita. They hired us to work the bar. As uh, hostesses, is that what they call them? I guess I'm not exactly surprising you, am I? Anyway, we were supposed to dance with the customers for a while and keep them sitting at the tables ordering the most expensive cheap champagne you'd ever seen and what did you get out of it besides a hard time 50 bucks a week plus whatever tips i could make and they promised not to send me across the border i lasted almost two weeks when the owners said that they expected me to do more than dance and guzzle champagne i took a quick hike i used whatever money i had left to buy a fake green card. And here I am. Not exactly a Cinderella story, is it? You're lucky. A lot of women don't come back from that dance at all. Well, I like to think of it as a special sort of night school. I learned a lot. Some of it about me. But most of it about men. It's kind of a useful education. Not bad. What's your move, Inspector? Are you going to turn me in? Or are you just going to let me go quietly and be illegal someplace else? It's your move. 